Howdy, howdy. Hope you're doing great. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use clip gain. Um, clip gain has, is a relatively new feature um, in the last couple of years with uh, Pro Tools that allows you to control the overall volume of the clip itself without using automation. Um, now, right now, we're not seeing the clip gain, so the way we're going to turn that on is by holding down Shift and Control and then the Equal Plus key on the keyboard. And you'll see at the bottom of these clips is this little zero, uh, this decibel meter. If you click and hold, there's actually a little fader that hold that, that you can control the volume. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you hit Alt, Alt or Option and click, it's going to reset it just as if it was a regular um, fader. Now, why is this useful? Uh, because... <laughs> You can, you can use less compression. You can make things more even. Um, it just gives you a lot more control. Uh, for instance, say you want to, you know, um, cut down on sibilances. You can just go in and lower the, the clip on S's. For instance, let's say this was an S right here. It's not. But let's say it was and we wanted to bring it down. Rather than automating it, we could just drag down there. Now, another thing is, um, there's another view that kind of threw me off when I started seeing it, and it's this view. It's this line, but it's actually pretty cool because it, it allows you um, to automate the clip game, which is just ridiculous. So we're not automating uh, the fader, but we're automating the actual level of the clip which can really help. Uh, for instance, sometimes I get stems with the volume rides written into them. Um, and to get rid of that, like see where this gets loud here? It actually doesn't really get that loud, but um, we can take, if you hold Option down, and by the way, to, to get this view on, it's the Shift Control uh, minus or hyphen key like right next it's to the left of the plus equal key so if you hold down command it'll bring this little this little finger tool and then we can click and create points and drag them see that see how it's changing the actual waveform there so if we wanted to make this part quiet or louder I mean how cool is that look at that and then say we want to bring this part up. We can see how it's actually affecting the waveform, almost like uh, almost like compression. Kind of cool, right? And then you still have the little fader down here. Um, and another quick key command is if you hold down. If you hold down Shift and Control, um, let's get rid of this so this is not confusing anymore. If you hold down Shift and Control when you have a clip selected and hit the up and down arrows, it will it will control the key commands or control the clip gain. So if you just want to go quickly, boom, and it shows you the values right there, um, which is just Really, really, really cool. Gives you a lot of control. Um, and you can also, if you have this mode selected, if you kind of just drag over it, you can just manually drag like that. Uh, a lot of people like using it like that. For the most part, I personally don't like having these, these lines in. It kind of drives me nuts. So I like to work, you know, I always like to know my clip gain. Um, value, it just keeps it clean. It's in the lower left-hand corner. So I'll work normally like this. And then if there's something that needs to be straightened out, I'll go in, I'll turn this on, and um, then I can adjust the values like that, you know, bring this up like that, and then I'll hide it. To me, it's sort of like working with, with automation. Some people love working with all the automation showing. I like it hidden unless I need to go in and, and change a value. 
Hope that was helpful to you. I can always go in more depth and show you more examples, but that's the basics and it's really, really powerful. It's changed dialogue editing, it's changed sound design, it's changed music. I mean, the amount of control you have now is ridiculous. So um, anyways, feel free to uh, ask me any questions or comment below. And if it was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome one wherever you are. All right, take care.